Here we go guys, camera's rolling, and action! My name is Rick Cordero, I'm a guerrilla filmmaker, uh, renegade music video director. I got into uh, filmmaking when I was a kid. I, I used to steal my dad's 20 pound camcorder and make horror movies with my friends. My first major project was a feature film called Mend uh, in 2004. That was like my film school, you know, like I, I, I didn't go to film school so, you know, everything that I learned was through creating this feature. Everything needs a treatment, you know, uh, and uh, sometimes the uh, artist will have an idea, you know, and I'll just sort of like build it on that. But most of the time, they just want to hear what I have to say, you know, and sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. The Jay-Z Blue Magic trailer is the one that, that everyone references. It's weird, you know, I think I, I've been talking about it over and over again, you know, so it's like, I'm like kind of bored with it already, but like, I think it did a couple of things. I think it, it, it brought something uh, a little more organic to uh, an artist of that caliber like Jay-Z. Um, it was totally gorilla, you know, it was very quick, shot in like two hours at most planned very loosely, you know what I mean? Um, and it just nailed uh, this, this feeling. You know, it was Jay-Z coming back and creating a concept album for American Gangster. You know, it, it, it brought something a little, um, a little more natural to, to, to Jay, the Streets is Watching, Reasonable Doubt era, I think. And it also gave kind of the thumbs up to this style of shooting. You know what I mean? Because he gave us the green light to put it out. And he liked it, you know what I mean? And so it was like, oh, well, if Jay likes it, then man, I guess it is good. You have reservations? Yes, I do, yes, I do. Uh, your name, please? Abe from in Table for Three. Uh, your Abe from? Yeah, The Sausage Froman. King of Chicago? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, it's really the, I think, the, the amount of scenes that need to get done. Because we could spend all day lighting. <laughs> we could spend all day, we could spend five hours lighting it. But we don't have that time. You know, so it's really like, well, alright, so what's my concern right now? Is it the lighting? Is it the art direction, or is it the acting? Is it like what is trying to what What are we trying to say with this with this scene? What are we trying to say? How do we get from point A to point B? And it's really like for that one, it was just like all right, the kids walk in, something goes down, you know, and, and that was my main concern. Will those reactions? Will those performances seem? Ring true. Can you feel it coming? Yes, I know you had a lot of with the ups, come the downs, with the downs, come the ups. Can you feel it coming? No, no, don't push your luck, cause with the ups, come the downs, with the downs, come the ups. Uh, with the ups, come the downs, with your smiles, come the frowns. For me being funny, the man that dude is a clown. From A of a day cop in the. The Ups and Downs music video by Joel Ortiz was a video that uh, we released this year, like January 1st, and it was, uh, it kind of um, deals with Joel's um, situation uh, in his career, or, or, you know, not necessarily his career, but he's commenting on, like, someone who is, like, you know what I mean, who, who is really well-liked, and then, uh, for one reason or another, just, you know, the same people that had his back kind of 
look at him as like a bum. So what I lose my re up in dice games, and tomorrow I be scheming to find me a nice chain. So what exit dinner when I don't feel like cooking? It ain't my fault, I'm on that bullshit. I'm from Brooklyn. Every time you come around, your face turn to a frown. You see it's about to go down. That's that Brooklyn bullshit. My next feature film is um, is titled Inside a Change, and it stars Al Thompson from uh, Royal Tenenbaums, Bounds, Liberty Kid and Jimmy Hector from The Wire, Marlo from The Wire. And uh, it's, a, it's a coming of age drama about a, a kid who gets sentenced to prison and before he goes to prison, he tries to throw his mom a birthday party and reconcile his brothers and his family together before he leaves. Just create by any means necessary, you know? Uh, and think about success as, as less about the budgets and more about how successful can I make myself to others.